Hello and welcome back to the Portfolio Podcast. On this week's episode, it's a Dictionary Corner Week. So we're going to be talking about different terms that could help you in your investing career. Now, on this episode, we're going to talk about the W8 Ben form and how this is going to impact you as a trader and also uh, what it means when you submit it and what it can do for you. We're also going to look at how to fill it out, which is very important. So let's get on with it, shall we? So guys, this is your guide to investing terminology and what it means. And also on top of that, we're going to talk about uh, things like, so with this W8 Ben form, I'm going to try and show you how to fill it out. Okay, so you don't have to worry about trying to find these uh, ridiculous sources and you can fill it out while you're watching the video. So what on earth is a W8 Ben form? A W8 Ben form is a legal document that the IRS needs you to complete so that you can get reduced tax rates on your dividends and your capital gains from stocks in the US. So if you don't fill out this form, you'll be expecting for your dividends to be maybe 30% <laughs> taken away from you, which isn't isn't great. Uh, whereas if you fill out this form, it's only 15%, okay? So they are going to take tax. You're not going to stop them from taking that tax, but you're going to get a discounted rate because you're a UK taxpayer. So guys, this is the W8 Ben form. Uh, as you can see at the top there, it says Certificate of Foreign Status of Beneficial Owner for United States Tax Withholding and Reporting. And you can also see there that it is from the IRS. Um, now, most of the time, you'll be sending this to your stockbroker, but the next episode, we are going to talk about direct stock purchased plans. Okay, Now, for that to happen, you do need to fill out your own W8 Ben form, and we'll get more into why you will need that in the next episode. So, obviously, uh, this form does have rules, and you don't need to fill this form in if you're a company trading, if you're trading under an LTD or a sole trader, you need to be an individual. Um, if you're not an individual, you can use the W8 Ben E form. Now, you also don't do this if you're a US citizen um, or if you're a resident alien individual in the US. Uh, so if you were a UK, uh, UK citizen, but you've moved to the US, then you wouldn't need to uh, do this form. You need to do a W9 form. Now, if you're a beneficial owner claiming income that is effectively connected with the conduct of trade or business within the United States, so you can't, basically what they're saying is you're not owning uh, shares in a company that you have a direct relationship with. Um, it's just for tax reasons. If you do, if you do are doing that, you need to go to the W8 ECI form. Um, and you can't use this form if you're a beneficial owner who's receiving compensation for personal services performed in the US. So that's a completely different, two different forms as well. You can't use this form if you're acting on behalf of someone else as an intermediary. There's another form for that, which is the W8IMY form. Now, just to go through this form just a little bit, uh, first up, you're going to need to put your full name here. Full name. Now, one thing that trips people up, they have to do this form multiple times, they don't get told what's wrong with it, they just get told no. Is this country a citizenship? Now, for UK citizens, you can't just put UK, you're not going to put England, you're not putting Great Britain, you're putting simply United Kingdom. Please spell it right, they will send it back if it's not spelled right. Uh, your permanent residence needs to be your actual permanent residency, where, where you're living right now. Um, and if that changes, you need to change, you need to submit another W8 Ben form. I mean, you, you can't get around that. Um, Obviously, the city and town and your postal code is essential. And yet again, you need to write your country in this for me, at least. And for most of the people watching our videos, it will be United Kingdom, not Great Britain, not England, not Ireland, not Scotland, not Wales. None of that, just United Kingdom. And the same in this country box here. You only need to fill out the mailing address if you are not uh, receiving posts at your current uh, current address. OK, now. Again, this just continues down for the main address. You don't need to do this unless, as stated before, you won't need to fill out number five, as this is only for US taxpayers. Uh, if they have, if you have an identification number, which in most cases you won't. So we go down to number six A. It's foreign tax identifying number. Now this is your national insurance number. Okay, so I would have filled this out, but I didn't want to give away all my details. Um, but this is just your national insurance number if you're in the UK. Um, you won't need to fill out reference numbers. Um, unless you have one given to you already which most people will not uh, and then your birth date please make sure it's in the american format in the stupid month month day day year year rather than the good old british way um 
and again you need to write United Kingdom in part number nine this must say United Kingdom the rest of this you can ignore down to here and part three you need to read these and be sure that you are happy with the statements and then you let's go through them actually uh, so first one is I am the individual that is the beneficial owner which is just from above you saw that you can't be any of those five things a and one of them was that you're not an intermediary okay so it just kind of repeats itself there and um, the person on line one of the form is not a US person which obviously if you're watching this video trying to figure out how to fill out a W8 Ben form I suppose most of you will be from the United Kingdom at least at the time of uh, recording this and it should just be your name it should be pretty simple really um, this form relates to income not effectively connected with the conduct of a trade or business in the United States so you're buying stocks and shares yes you have voting power but that does not connect you with the trade or business okay whereas if you were insider trading and the boss of the company was your uncle then you might get some backlash from that okay um income effectively connected with the content of trade you've done that sorry um oh sorry but is not subject to tax under applicable income tax treaty um so yeah we can agree with that and see the partner share of partnerships effectively connected taxable income um so if you have a partner then you need to think about that okay and last but not least uh, we've got for broker transactions or barter exchanges the beneficial owner is an exempt foreign person as defined in the instructions okay so just make sure you read through them make sure that you authorize this form uh, else you could be tried under the uh, under the penalties of perjury um, which isn't something that you want to happen um, and if this does get thrown back at you, then you have 30 days to resubmit. Um, yeah, you need to tick that box. You need to sign. You need to date it in the American date. Remember to use the American date and then print your name. OK, and that should be exactly the same as box number one, because you're filling it out for yourself. I can't make that any clearer. This and this should be you. No one else should be signing this for you or filling this form out for you. I thank you for watching the TPP Dictionary, your guide to investing terminology and what it means, and I hope that now you can fill out your WA Ben form nice and easily. See you later.